we're gonna make this video a little premium we uh because we will use three element slots we're not gonna use three bloodlines we basically also only gonna use even one bloodline only golden biakukan if you have the normal jokai just use the normal jokai i think it doesn't matter but if you have only the normal jokai then i recommend to also use present shuriken shurik uh spirit bomb shuriken rush but the combo goes like this he's modded he has 360k life i am unmoded and i will just now kill him i will use the two skills from yin and yang i mean the last move from both elements shiver last and senko storm and just the uh, uh, second i mean the first and the last move from biakogan so i also have um amber g blade if you have saber retentor you can also use that but amber g blade is better or anything that has a fast stun. So alright, let's just do this. And he's dead. So now if you have the normal Byakugan and if the damage is not enough, just use the Shuriken Rush, as I told you, and then he should probably be dead. So we only use two Bloodline moves. If he still was not dead, you can use the second move from Byakugan also, and after your Shuriken, uh, after your Senko Storm, just use that, and then you will get your cooldowns already up again. For example, after that you can use your uh, Q spec from Threat Blade, uh, I mean from Ember Rising, uh, I mean from Ember Cheap Blade, and you see. This did like 120k damage. And you can maybe even go on. Like, alright. Just like the last video I did, I will try to use to do like over 450k damage or something. So I will use my skills in the air. So we and we just pretend that I hit him, my my ult, alright? So I mowed him up and also to the second stage. So I just use the the skills as I will do. So we just pretend I hit him. I'm gonna hit him with that because otherwise the skill will not be able to blah 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 blah, you know, and then that. That Senko Star, I have also you to use that. Alright. Then just use that. Alright, and this dead with the, with the M1s, he has 230,000 damage, and we have like only a little amount of chi left. So what, what can we do with that little amount of chi? Maybe we can use this move? Alright, it won't be enough. But perhaps we don't even have to spam, uh, we don't even have to hold our rotation for so long. So I'm just here because I can hit the training locks instead of my ult. So I will do this and then then... Mm, stupid training lock. Right, and then the Sanko Storm on him. And then that. Fuse is already rated up. I will just do this, use that. Oh, I didn't hit him. I, I sadly didn't hit him with my Q-Spec, but anyway. So you can do a little amount of more damage with that move. And I think this this does total of... Well, let me just real quick do my math. That's almost 500k. That's almost 500k modded uh, without a mod. Well, let's say that that's even over 500k because I didn't count in the M1s. So if you have those three elements and this bloodline, or even the normal Byakugan, that's, that's still enough. I mean, if your enemy is moded, then you have also to get moded, right? So we just, imagine we just go mode. I heal my ult up, he's already in his mode. And we also have Marchi. So we get that, and we get even Marchi. Just, just do that. Oh my god, I can see the health drain. Oh my god, he's dead. Oh my god, I'm that was the wrong button, but you know I don't care. Because he's dead anyway. Yo. Yo. <laughs> this did 400k damage. And I didn't use the first move. I didn't use the second move. I didn't use the Q-Spec second time. I didn't do M1s. And I didn't use my Shiver. And Sanko Storm. I didn't even use my Sanko Storm. Not to talk about my C-Spec, bro. Right, that's just the C spec is like uh, only not so good for uh, this combo. Maybe you can start with it, but nothing else. Uh, so I will just use the second stage from Byakugan because of that. Yo, look at that damage, bro. This is so broken. This is OP. 
Oh god, oh god, okay. So now let's see if this combo can be used for people who don't have three elementals. So I, what I would cut out is, uh, if you don't have Shiver, I will make a scenario where you don't have Shiver, I will make a scenario where you don't have, where you don't have Yin or Yang. So don't worry, okay? So for the first thing, we just imagine you guys don't have Shiver. So I will move, I will uh, quickly move that away. Bum, uh, bum. So I get my favorite skill, or one of the favorite skills, Shriek and Rush, and then I will just stop the combo. My ult is in his mode, good, we can go. So we don't have Shiver. We stun him, alright, I was slow. And we can't do anything else, nice. So because we only have two elementals, this will be a little complicated, so just watch carefully. We're gonna start again with Q-Spec, and then Ying or Yan, and then again the Palms. Then with the Shuriken, oh I've missed him, but just doesn't really matter. Alright, then use that move, and your Q-Spec will be ready up again. Use it, I use Yan or Ying. You can hit him, you might not be able to hit him, but this is as far as you can go. If you have the lightning shuriken from the sub abilities, you can use that to make it to make it a safe kill, or even let's just say a safer way to kill your enemy. Nice leg. Spam F. Then that. I think you don't, we don't have to use the drop kick. Let's use that and then that. Oh, he's already dead. All right, we didn't have to use single storm. Well, well, wait. Right, that's that surprised me. Now we didn't have to use single storm. So uh, you yeah, just use your shriek and stun from the sub ability, and then you don't have to drop kick. I mean, that was a waste. Really, you don't have to do that. Just go instantly with your rotation, and then your Q spec should be ready up again. Just use a Q spec. Maybe you can even just go. Uh, Senko Storm and Shuriken Rush, so we don't have, to, so you don't necessarily need to use the second ability from Yin or Yang. I'm gonna try that if you can do this with only one Yin Yang element. So I will real quick just get this move away, so I don't uh, click it accidentally, and then we just start again with Q Spec. E use that. I think this is Yin. Then that. Stunning. And then that. I don't know why it cancelled. Why did you cancel, bro? Q spec. Yin. Okay. I'm a little slow because I'm tired. Yo, why the hell are you cancelling? What the hell? Alright, I just reset. Hopefully, this will not fail now. I hope. Like, hopefully, I hope. Alright, I know why it's why it's cancelling, because I'm pressing shift, I'm holding shift, and now I just released shift. Why ever, why the hell ever, it just cancelled out the skill. Like, there is no reason, bro. Alright, this will be now the perfect try for that, don't worry. This will be the last try, and this will be perfect. I'm actually also a little faster now. That was fast, and uh, not fast, whatever. And he's dead. Okay, you have to be a little lucky with your Q-Spec. I mean, there isn't one, when well, there's a half second where you need, where you still need your Q-Spec. So you have to be very, very careful with you, how you use your skills. If you have like a, uh, like a half second or a second to spare, try and use that. Like when you use your stun, Wait a little, like this, I think this stands for like one second or one and a half second. Just wait till the last millisecond and then use your rotation. So that is very important if you do, the, if you want to do this with only one element. I think I nerfed this combo like the worst right now. I mean, we started with the best, with the, with the best possibilities, three blood, uh, uh, one bloodline and three elements. And then I nerfed it to like two elements and then only one element. Alright, now let's buff it and let's take Shiver. But, well, we know that how this will look like, right? So, again. 
And after 128 palms, we're just gonna use that. You can do M1. Is that and then this. Spam him like and he's dead. Yo. So you don't need to use the yin and yang together. Only one of them are enough. Or if you don't if you have only one and you have Elsa Shiver, then you just use Shiver. So you can do Elsa your own combos with. Combine that with Oh, well, that was nonsense. Sorry for that. <laughs> Alright, so you, you can use what you desire. Just use it with Shiver. If you don't have Shiver, just use it with Yin and Yang. If you don't have if you only have one Yin Yang, as I said, be a little careful and you can you may be able to run shot your enemy without he being able to use auto dodge or counter. So that was the worst possibilities I could try I could uh, show you guys and well there can be worse because you maybe don't have even single storm. Troy can rush, get it. Just get it, okay? Just get it. There are many, there are many, many, very many uh, random uh, server codes everywhere. If you search for them in, on, in, in Google, just type it in and ask for them in maybe my Discord. Maybe I will create a list in my Discord. I don't know. Just join it and I allow you to spam my uh, name if you want like server codes. Just ping me, spam me, ping me. With, with Don't spam me. You can't even spam me in my uh, DMs. Just ping my name in the general chat in my discord and you are allowed normally you will not be able to but if you want server codes do it and i will create a, a new channel with plenty of server codes and i will create them my, myself like there will be a uh, non non use you can use that for example for like every village maybe 10 codes a day for each village of course so you you know you know what to do just spam me yeah and bye bye here bye uh, maybe I should not have not said that, but anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.